Well, this farm wife is on the road and her little window suction cup thingy for her phone is broke. And she sometimes talks in third person. Anyway, yeah, I'm leaving the farm. I'm going to do something really fun that I get to do once a year. I think this is my fourth year. Heading to our capital, Raleigh. And tonight I will be staying at a friend's house. And tomorrow I will be photographing a cancer fundraiser called Get Your Rear in Gear. What a great name. To raise money and awareness for colorectal cancer, which my friend Marley had and has survived. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, she's amazing. So, I think I will take y'all along. It's raining, and it's cold, and hopefully it's at least not raining in the morning. We'll just see how this all goes. Anyway, that's what we're doing this weekend. But first, I'm making a little pit stop here at this realty place to get something that was left for me to pick up some copies of the local magazine that I write for. Do y'all recognize that place? I do. Yay. It's our farm. It's our farm on the cover of the local magazine I write for. And then right here, like a big spread. Oh, and then there's some other articles in here that I wrote. That one about my friend Hosanna. And another one in here somewhere. Anyway, it's all kind of surreal when things like this happen. I'm just um, constantly amazed at how God works and how he's allowed me to tap into some passions and do some things that I never thought I'd be doing. And it's just really cool to me anyway. So, okay. That was just a little pit stop. Okay, we're off. I haven't quite had enough coffee yet. It's not raining. It's cloudy. And it's in the 40s. And that's okay. And I'm wearing my running shoes. Even though I don't run. But I'm going to photograph a run, so I always feel like I need to wear running shoes. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> 10 seconds. Listen to you will not miss the cannon. It's going to happen in 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Prevent 
animal. If you're 45, you need to get screened. If you're 50, you need to have your colonoscopy. It might not be fun, but it's worth it. It's worth it. So, there's my little PSA for that. Always a good time. Always a good, always a good event. Always a feel-good event. Now, let's go home and feed cows. Hey, y'all. I just wanted to do this because I'm bored sitting here waiting for the silage wagon. I thought, well, I'll just video myself in the, in the mirror just to change it up. Sometimes change is good. It's Sunday. Silage Sunday. I didn't have to help yesterday. So I'm helping today. The sun came out for 30 seconds. That was amazing. Hopefully it's going to come back out. I actually hear the tractor coming. I've wasted too much time doing other stuff on my phone. But anyway. Still muddy. We've got like four days of sunshine supposedly. So that's amazing. We'll see how that works out. And... I don't know. That's about it. That's all I got right now. I hear that tractor coming again. I'm not gonna sing it this time, but that was did I do that on here or did I do that on Insta stories? I did that on Instagram, y'all missed it. I sang I hear the tractor coming. It's coming round the bend. It's really cold outside and I really want to stay in. That's what I sang last time, but it's not today, so I don't really have an excuse. So here we go. suggested that I do this when I talked about the side of that tractor hitting my head every time I have to sit up there on the fender. That's what you call it, right? A fender? Yeah. So, I have pool noodles. I don't have a pool. We don't even belong to a pool. But for some reason, I have pool noodles that ride around in my toolbox. Believe me? You don't believe me? Let me show you. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what's in here. Scary. Okay, all the bags and... See what I'm talking about? Pool noodles. Do we have pool noodles? I have a pool noodle. And I have a knife. I have a knife here. This is a great little knife. We're going to use my little case. Toothpick knife. I'm not being paid for this advertisement, but it is an amazing little knife. I love it. Mostly because of the color and also because of the size. It's tiny. Fits right in your little pocket. Carry it with you. And it's really sharp. It works really well. They did give me this knife last year just for me to try it and use it and tell the world about it if I loved it. And I do. So that's what I'm doing right now. You're welcome. Buy a case. Case is amazing. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So here we go. Measurements pre-measured. It fits. It fits great, actually. It's already dirty, so that's awesome. It's the right color. I mean, kind of, like in a neon way. All right, I have no fingernails. That's another story for another day, but my bra is coming out. Okay, what we're going to do, this is, I'm just, I think this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm just cutting it. I hope I do this right. I'm just cutting it. There we go. Y'all, I'm not a fixer. I'm like not a, 
I'm not a DIYer. I don't do things well myself. Without instruction or help. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is gonna work. It seems almost too easy. So the idea, so I cut the pool noodle. <laughs> I'm gonna be so excited if this actually works. And so is my noggin. Is it gonna stay on though? That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> I might have to get some tape. I don't know. I, I feel like it, that, I, I feel like maybe with just some tape. Let's try it out, Fudge. That is so much better than hitting that metal. Okay, I'm hitting myself like I have problems, but so I do. I get on here and I hit my head, but that doesn't hurt. That was like the quickest fix ever known to, not man, but to me. I can now say that I feel like I've accomplished something this weekend. I mean, I have accomplished something this weekend. Yesterday was great. The race was great. Getting to do that photography was great. And now this. It's like the perfect weekend. All right. So, never say never. Never think that you cannot do things. If you're, I know there's a lot of men that watch this, but I know there's some ladies watching this. And I'm, I mean, I'm just serious. I'm really excited about my husband seeing what I did. I fixed it. I mean, it might not be on here when we come out here tomorrow, but for now it is. And it did the trick. And I'm going to stop belaboring this point, but it's kind of a big deal for me. I own up to my um, hair. I own up to my blondness. In fact, I say I will always keep my hair blonde because I wear it so well. I'm just, I tend to, I tend to be a stereotypical blonde in a lot of ways, so I'll just live and die one. Anyway, yay. <laughs>